Okay, this is a video about servicing a 2006 Audi A8 L. It's got the six-speed Tiptronic. These are some tips for a pressurized transmission refiller. They plug into there. Yes. You put three quarts in at a time. That's my super slick uh, idea to refill it instead of doing a hand pump of 30 pumps a quart for nine quarts. This is the pan that came off of my beautiful Audi. You can see it's a nice Florida patina, which means no rust at all. Um, it's in pretty good shape. You have to clean those magnets a little bit. A little bit of sludge on them. Not much. Cheney was starting to say feed me some new uh, fluid there. So 102,000. It's about time. Um, I didn't use these. I could have used the Northern Tool extension. I think you can use that to get out the plug. You got to break that plug loose before you pull the pan off. Unless you have superhuman powers and strength. Um, I had to get a 17 millimeter L Allen with a two foot breaker bar with the pan installed, not broken loose at all. It came loose. I took all the, uh, 27 Torx bolts out with my quarter inch impact drive. This was the uh, gasket I had to get for it. It's, uh, it took like two tries to get the right gasket. They're sending me other things. Um, but so I have it up on ramps. I jacked it up and put it up on ramps in the garage. Uh, take advantage of a 75 degree day in uh, June in Florida um, with the rain. So it's easy. You just jack it up on the corner. Do uh, I have two jacks. I do one axle at a time. Put it up on the ramps. Put it back down. I have it locked in uh, lift. Air suspension does work. It's locked in uh, lift. So the car's up high. Which is just enough room. So you have to remove just the uh, the back shield and the one that goes to the tail of the transmission. I didn't have to remove the engine shield. <clears throat> Here's my other jack. Jack stands. Or uh, ramps, I mean. So this is what uh, you see. CS tuning or something like that in the place in Ohio. They sent me a nice filter. It's already got the uh, the uh, gasket on it, which is cool. I got uh, two, four, six, seven, eight quarts of ZF lifeguard. I researched this with Audi and with ZF, and it's that's the fluid fluid they recommend. Now this is where the um, logic comes in so you have to refill this transmission through the output so i'm going to be taking these and then you, you insert it and i have to find one now the porsche one's too long that one's too short so i think that one's just about perfect so you put it up in there and hook it around so the fluid, i probably push it that way so it's dumping the fluid toward the front of the tranny. Um, so you break that, break that loose before you go draining this sucker. That's a, like a very small five or six millimeter Allen. There's a little bracket on the front, which that, there's the, uh, on the bracket holders. You just need to remove that and then release the uh, wiring harness 
and then you're good to go. I'll show you underneath here. These are my nukes. Not to self and not to the rest of the audio world. So here we go. There's in the 2006 you can get on both sides of these 16 millimeter bolts. They're not 17s. You got to use the shorty, the short, um, you know, like the one inch socket on this one because the downpipe gets in the way. And then just like something open and wrench on the back side. Those spun out by hand pretty decently. I'll put green Loctite on those for reassembly. There's the bar up there. You see the aluminum plate that was on the front. And then I, you go on the back side of the plate and you can pinch both sides of the uh, disconnectors to pull the wiring out. It's, uh, it's those connectors right there. So a whole bunch of those little 27 Torx bolts around there. And 2006 does not have any interference with the exhaust really. I mean, you kind of have to pull the pan forward a little bit to drop it down, but that's it. Um, there's no bolts holding in the tranny filter on the 06 six-speed Tiptronic. If you notice the uh, bolt pattern here, um, there's like an oil cooler. I thought first time I looked at this, I thought that oil cooler would be in the way looking from the uh, front of the engine which the the uh, underground shield like I didn't even have to remove that for the engine you do have to remove that to change the front uh, differential fluids which I got one that's kind of leaking over there I gotta pay some attention to um, I will maybe try to do the rear diff fluid change on this while I got it up in the air today but I'm surprised this has taken one third of the amount of time that I thought it would but I understand it's hard to do the refilling so what I will do is while it's up on stands I'll go ahead and go through the brake having foot on the brake um, starting it up and uh, you know filling the pan up starting it up and going um, you know to the drive gears without the wheels rotating and then I'll hit reverse I'm told that it's going to spray out a ton of fluid you know I'm, I'm really amazed how far you can I mean I think I'm looking at a freaking clutch pack or something up there I am really amazed at how wide open this transmission is it's really something it's kind of a work of art Audi really something else I've never seen an automatic transmission like this I've only worked on pretty much American automatic transmissions so this is kind of a new one I've done manual valve bodies and replaced check balls and done you know the usual kind of things you did in the 70s and 80s and 90s on the turbo hydromatics and the torque flights never dealt with the Fords all that much but pretty uh, stoked about this this tranny it's making me really happy I did this fluid change and uh, got to look at this firsthand look at all those solenoids <laughs> um, and then here's a Part number. Made in Germany, written in English. So, um, there was also some fluid I noticed here. I don't know, maybe this thing was leaking. I don't know where that fluid came from. Something's making that a little bit darker than I 
hoped it would be. Anyhow, that's it.